today we're going to be diving into the basics of cryptocurrency how to buy store earn and spend safely so if you're new to this space don't worry i've got you covered by the end of this video you're going to have a good understanding of common crypto terms and concepts first of all what is cryptocurrency simply put it's a digital and decentralized type of currency unlike traditional money which is backed by central banks Cryptocurrencies are maintained by their users. Think of cryptocurrency as digital money, with Bitcoin, of course, being the most famous one. Now let's talk about blockchain. And every cryptocurrency transaction is recorded on a decentralized ledger called a blockchain. This public database ensures all transactions are transparent and secure, thanks to cryptography. So while you can track where crypto goes, your personal information stays private. If you think about it, you can imagine blockchain as a giant spreadsheet that everyone has access to, but only you know which entries are yours. And where do you store your crypto? Well, in the crypto world, we use a wallet, which is where you store your digital money. It's like a digital bank account. The thing you need to understand about wallets is that there are hot wallets, which are online, and there are cold wallets, which are offline. And Basically, cold wallets provide higher security. Now, cold wallets are like these USB devices for your crypto. Always remember the saying, not your keys, not your crypto. Meaning, if you don't hold your private keys, you don't fully own your crypto. We're going to dive into wallets in another video. But for now, what you need to know is that keeping your private keys secure is absolutely crucial. You've probably heard the term decentralized. It means no single entity has control. Unlike traditional businesses, decentralized organizations spread decision-making power among many participants. Now, this makes them more resilient and transparent. Think of it like a cooperative where everyone has a say instead of a single boss making all the decisions. To buy and sell crypto, you can use an exchange, which is like an eBay for digital assets, basically. There are centralized exchanges, which act basically like a broker, and there are decentralized exchanges, which operates without any middleman or broker. Now, exchanges often charge a fee for transactions, so keep that in mind. Using an exchange is how you convert your traditional money or fiat into cryptocurrency and vice versa. Now, DeFi or decentralized finance is there to replace traditional finance services with decentralized alternatives. It gives you more control over your money. After that, we have stablecoins, which are cryptos with a fixed value. Stablecoins are usually pegged to a fiat currency like the US dollar. Stablecoins are great for avoiding price volatility of other cryptos. So for instance, if you think Bitcoin's price might drop, then you can switch to a stablecoin to preserve your capital. As you may already know, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency and it remains the most valuable of them all. Bitcoin is decentralized, meaning you can send it directly to someone without actually needing a bank. All the coins are any other cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. And Ethereum is the most popular altcoin and is known for its smart contract capabilities. Now, smart contracts are basically self-executing contracts with the terms of the contract written into the code. And this opens up a world of possibilities beyond just currency. Now let's compare fiat money like the US dollar to crypto. As you know, fiat money is issued by the government and can be printed, which can lead to inflation. Now crypto, on the other hand, is decentralized and basically its supply is usually capped. Let's take Bitcoin, for example. Bitcoin has a 21 million limit. This makes crypto a hedge against inflation. Now, unlike fiat, which can be devalued by overprinting, the value of cryptocurrency is determined by supply and demand. But cryptocurrency is still in its early days. It offers transparency, security. That's a great way to transfer value globally without a middleman. Now, as technology advances, the potential uses for crypto will only expand from buying a cup of coffee to making large international transfers 
the possibilities are endless and we can see that more and more today. So why does this all matter? Well, it matters because it gives us an even playing field, us, you and I. Think about it. Anyone anywhere in the world has an equal opportunity to create wealth using cryptocurrencies, of course. If you think further, there are billions of people in the world that cannot get access to a bank account and cryptocurrency give those people another way to send money across the world instantly to family in a way that they would never be able to before. When we live in a first world country and we're used to being able to just walk into a bank, set up a bank account and send money wherever we feel like, when you start to explore the rest of the world and how they live, you start to understand the need for something like cryptocurrency. Now, in many places around the world, cashless transactions have become the new normal, right? Digital fiat has become the new way many people do business. And many governments are now considering releasing a totally digital currency that is possibly blockchain based. Now, these are known as central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. And these currencies were inspired by cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. They're very different because they are centralized. There is a point of control by the government's monetary policy. Therefore, the risk that we currently have in our fiat system of governments being able to overprint inflation, et cetera, et cetera, under a CBDC, all of those things will still remain. But we are very new in the blockchain space. So we do have some issues. For example, many cryptocurrencies have issues with things like transaction speed and high energy uses. However, new technology is advancing quickly to cover these problems and to create a system of finance that is better than fiat in every way. When you think about most currencies, they last around 250 years before they are replaced by something else. Cryptocurrency has been around now for just over 10 years. Do you understand how early we are in this space? And that's just another great reason to become familiar and early adopter and evolve with the cryptocurrency. It will get better and better. And that brings us to the end of our introduction to cryptocurrency. I hope this made things a bit clearer for you. In our next lessons, we'll dive deeper into different types of wallets and how to set them up. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. We're doing this together.